Hey, it's John from Addicted Blaze. I got this sword here sent to me from Samurai Bird on the request of its owner, John from RJ Kitana, to have me take a look at it to, compared to the other Unakubi Zakuri that I got that I had bought from him. I was wrong. I guess this wasn't a pass around. This was a might have been passed around, but anyway, Bird bought it and decided he didn't like it because he said it was top heavy or blade heavy. So John sent him another sword that he liked and kept and was going to send this one back and set it in up here so I could do a comparison video. So here we go. Um, this one has a really really thin light tube on it. I think that's the main difference. And then mine, which is SX105B blade still, has this big, thick, solid tube on it with just one little hole in it, which adds a lot of weight to counter it. So, uh, Sway these babies. This one that they sent me is a uh, 51 CRV4 spring still and it weighs uh, 2 pounds 1 ounce roughly not the best accurate measurement but you would be on something more solid I think Two pounds, one ounce, so called. So, let's uh, see how much this one weighs. Of mine, that was two pounds, one ounce. Oh, mine weighs two pounds, six. 0.5 ounces roughly. So mine's actually heavier probably because of this heavier suba. So let's see what the point of balance is on these things. Put a little tape on here to mark them with. Spring still one and that's right there. Mine and mine, the SX105B blade steel katana is uh, a little bit short. We'll measure here. We're going to measure from the knot uh, in the habaki, I believe that's what it's called. Uh, we'll just measure from the yeah, from the knot in the habaki, I believe. So on mine, which is uh, actually three and five eighths of an inch, 
three and five eighths of an inch. And on the uh, one they sent me for spring spill is uh, four and almost seven eighths of an inch, almost five inches. So we're talking almost an inch and a half difference. So that's why his, that's why this one filled the top every time. And I haven't had a chance to use this yet because it's been so windy and nasty out here and I've been really busy, but it's supposed to get nicer this week. So I'm going to try to do some cutting with it. Still don't really notice it, but we'll see when I cut if I notice it. Um, seems like it's got a lot thinner handle than mine does. My handle's just a little bit longer by about a half an inch or five eighths of an inch or so. Um, the blades are pretty much the same. The spring still one is, um, I guess they're pretty much the same. The spring still is maybe an eighth of an inch, quarter inch longer, maybe. Um, I don't really notice a lot of difference doing that, but when I cut, I'll try some doubles and stuff and I'll be able to tell a lot better if there's a difference. So I really like it a lot. Still have to cut with it before I really, but I'm sure I'll like it. Bird put his edge on this thing. I'm gonna do a separate video on that. But let's just check it out here real quick. All right, let's see how bird's edge is here. That's pretty slick. Pretty freaking sharp. Yep. Nice job, bird. Pretty sharp. Very nice. Nice edge bird. Can't wait to cut with this baby. <laughs> 